Hi guys and welcome to another edition of World Sports News. On this week's programme, we're looking at the media contribution to making the Tour de France one of the biggest sports events in the world. Broadcast in over 190 countries, it has some 3.5 billion viewers worldwide. To cover a mega event such as the Tour requires a significant media presence. Over 2,000 journalists, photographers, radio stations, TV stations and press agencies all work to broadcast this event to the world. And with so much media attention, any incidents soon get reported, possibly damaging the reputation of the event. And when incidents of this nature do occur, it is critical for the organisation to be able to manage these and to reduce the level of bad reputation. The Tour de France organisation not only interact with the fans during the event, but all year round. By using programmes such as Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and Instagram, the Tour de France organisers can keep their event in the forefront of people's minds. It also enables the organisers to engage and interact with fans through these different channels. Now we caught up with pro rider Anthony Williams to find out what he thought about the close access that the media has to the riders. Yeah, the media obligations of the tour now are huge. Everybody wants that interview in English or Italian or Spanish, so you're there for a long time. The riders could do without it. It just shows how, how global cycling is now and how, how much followed the Tour de France is. Yeah. The media are able to make the tour experience submersive through the openness and accessibility of the cyclists. The Tour de France offers fans and spectators the chance to get close to the stars and to ride the actual race route. How many fans could play tennis on Wimbledon's centre court or play football at Wembley? The organisation require media input to showcase the event, to engross the fans and to encourage them to experience the tour atmosphere in person. Even though a spectator may not be on the roadside, the sheer amount of media attention makes a whole experience extremely submersive. Do you feel like you're there? <laughs> According to Pine and Gilmore, events engage with people on a personal level. The organisation and media helps to build this relationship between the fans and the event. That's it for this week guys, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below and to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. See you next week.